so we have a lot of video game news this week, but let's jump in with a piece of news that I am super happy about, and I'm sure some of you are also going to be excited about this if you haven't heard yet. So, basically, Xbox, because they bought Activision Blizzard, they now get to, I guess, have special things exclusive for Xbox, and one of these is going back to fix the servers for the original Call of Duty games from the Xbox 360 era up to the Xbox One. Now, for those that don't know, the older Call of Duty games like Call of Duty World at War, Call of Duty 4, Black Ops 1, Black Ops 2, the original Modern Warfare 2, all those games from like the Xbox 360 era had problems. The surfers would take like 10 or 20 minutes to find a match. And then there was just like a ton of hackers and bots in the game. It, it, it was bad. It was a bad experience. You couldn't find zombie matches in Black Ops. Uh, you would just be there waiting forever. The server would lag you out. It was just busted for years. Well, right now, if you have an Xbox Series S or an Xbox Series X, or if you have an older Xbox, like an Xbox One or Xbox 360, guess what? You can actually buy these older Call of Duty games if you don't own them. And the servers are working, and they're working super fast right now. In the last day, Activision Blizzard has fixed, with Microsoft's help, all of their Call of Duty game servers. So people on TikTok all day, I'm like scrolling. I'm seeing people just like crying from happiness. Like they're just super happy playing, you know, Black Ops, uh, Call of Duty, uh, World at War, games like that. And they're actually finding matches within seconds. So if you want to experience the classic Call of Duty games again, online now is the time to do it i'm actually going to download some call of duty games on my xbox series x later today so i can play some of these older games that i really liked like the black ops um uh one and two games so maybe i'll go back and download some of the other ones but uh just imagining you know playing zombies again with an actual working server in lobby is just gonna be amazing so that's completely fixed right now people are super happy so if you are a call of duty fan uh get an xbox right now download your favorite games and additionally apparently all of these call of duty games might be coming to Xbox Game Pass in the future from what I've heard so that's even an extra bonus which is why they probably fixed the servers now sadly PlayStation did not get this a lot of the Call of Duty games on PlayStation are just straight up broken like I don't even I don't even want to talk about it let's just say it's full of hackers and uh the servers aren't really working for a lot of the older Call of Duties on PS3 or even on PS4 now. So, yeah, uh, hopefully Sony gets uh, their servers fixed for Call of Duty, but for now, only Xbox has uh, the servers working as intended. So, that is awesome. Uh, let's see, what else do we got here? Next, Halo Infinite added an 8v8 squad battle mode and they remade and kind of like um put out old halo 3 maps and the fans are going crazy right now because for those that don't know halo infinite has added kind of og halo 3 maps they remade them and then they put out this limited time mode which is 8v8 squad battle mode so it's kind of like a team deathmatch style mode uh, different squads, eight players on each, just fighting in these huge OG maps, and the Halo community is super happy about this. Uh, the, the reaction to this update that they did for Halo Infinite has been so positive that there's like a petition right now to make it a permanent mode in Halo Infinite. Like, people on Reddit, Discord, YouTube, Twitter, they're all like, just bothering Halo and Xbox, like, please, please, please make this permanent, make it official, make this the main mode, 
people just absolutely love this new uh, update. So if you're a Halo fan, you might want to check out this Halo Infinite 8v8 squad battle mode on the OG Halo 3 maps. And they added some other modes as well, like uh, capture the flag and stuff like that for these OG maps. Uh, but yeah, definitely something worth checking out. Um, let's see, Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, uh, got its, uh, new DLC courses released this week. So, for those that don't know, if you have a Nintendo Switch, uh, Nintendo every few months for, like, the last year has been releasing, uh, these booster course, uh, tracks for Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, so they're adding new tracks every couple of months. And right now we are on the fifth wave. So they've done like wave one, two, three, four, and each time they've added, you know, a number of new racing tracks to Mario Kart 8. And now we're on the fifth one, just released. And uh, I can't wait to download and play it. I might do a video on it uh, on the channel this next week, so be on the lookout for that. I love playing Mario Kart. So very, very happy. This new update added the uh, uh, cruise. I think it's called Daisy's Cruise. It's like a ship level from the GameCube uh, Mario Kart Double Dash game. And they've added that, like a remade version, into Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. And they added a bunch of other courses as well. So, very, very excited. So, that just came out. Uh, Stumble Guys. Anyone remember Stumble Guys? It's kind of like a Fall Guys clone that's on phones and PC. Well, it looks like Stumble Guys is going to be coming out on Xbox and Xbox One. So Xbox Series X and S and Xbox One uh, very, very soon. So, like, that's very unexpected, honestly. Um, I, I have Stumble Guys on my PC. I have played it. Um, I find it, it it's much easier to play than Fall Guys, and I've actually won a bunch of games, but I don't know. Uh, it's free to play at least, so that's always like a bonus. But um, you can add, actually register right now to play it on Xbox. So uh, yeah, um, Honestly, not bad. Uh, I might I might check it out when it releases. Um, so yeah, let me know what y'all think of Stumble Guys releasing on Xbox Series X and S and Xbox One. Now we have a crazy piece of news. If you're a Need for Speed fan, they are remaking one of the, I would say, most popular Need for Speed games. Uh, and this was leaked by a voice actor. So, uh, apparently, they are making a Need for Speed Most Wanted remake. So, that just sounds awesome to me. My favorite Need for Speed games are probably, like, Need for Speed Underground 1, 2, Need for Speed Most Wanted, and I really, really like, uh, Need for Speed Carbon, which everybody always, like, forgets. That was a good one, too. And they kind of abandoned that, like, cool street racing aesthetic in the later games for some reason. The, re the recent one, though, was pretty good. Unbound. But, uh, yeah, they're returning to the classics, I guess, for, you know, a new generation of gamers so they can finally get to experience Need for Speed Most Wanted. And honestly, super happy with that. I I more people should play this game. And right now, there's, like, no way to play Need for Speed Most Wanted unless you own the original, like, PlayStation 2 disc, which a lot of people don't have. So this, this is nice. So I can't wait for this to come out. And I... I hope the remake actually ends up being true, because, uh, yeah, voice actor, uh, leaked this info accidentally. They weren't supposed to. Uh, well, it looks like we're gonna be getting yet another Star Wars Jedi, uh, survivor, you know, type game. It's gonna be the third game in the series. Uh, this leaked, um, and apparently it's being worked on right now at Respawn Entertainment. Uh, honestly, this is not a surprise because the first game did very, very well. The second game, which came out recently, also did very, very well. So it just makes sense for them to make a third game. So it looks like they're working on a Star Wars Jedi sequel. And I'll, I'll definitely be checking that out. I love Star Wars. Can't wait for the new Ahsoka show coming out. So 
This is going to be exciting. Uh, now, this is interesting. So, Call of Duty Warzone is apparently doing a collab with The Boys. And I'm talking about, you know, the comic uh, book franchise series, you know, with Homelander. I'm sure most of you, even if you did not watch The Boys, you know who Homelander is. Well, yeah, they're doing a collab. Homelander and other characters from The Boys are appearing in Call of Duty. And uh, you can actually buy these skins. And it, honestly, I don't know what to say. <laughs> it's a pretty crazy collab. But I guess we're going to see a bunch of people just wearing Homelander skins because he's super popular. Um, so yeah, that's that's a new collab with Call of Duty. I was not expecting to see that ever at all, but it works. <laughs> um, let's see. Uh, what else? What else? Uh, I'm trying to I'm trying to like find all the good info here. Just a second. Um. Ooh. Okay. Let's go. Let's go retro, old old school mode for a second, because we got a lot of like older games that just got kind of like announced randomly this week. So, uh, Jurassic Park is getting a classic game collection with like their old Super Nintendo games uh, and other games from that era kind of being ported to the PlayStation 5, Xbox, PS4, Nintendo Switch, and PC. So there's going to be like an old Jurassic Park games collection. So if you're a fan of Jurassic Park and you wanted to play some of those older original games from that first movie, well, they're going to be releasing a collection for that. Uh, additionally, they're, they're bringing back a PlayStation 1 platformer called Tomba. Uh, and honestly, this came as a surprise. I actually own Tomba for PlayStation 1. It's a really unique kind of platforming game that inspired a lot of video games. Even, like, modern video games were inspired by Tomba. Pretty influential uh, platformer. And uh, this game is getting remade, remastered for PlayStation 5. And uh, that's just super, super cool. Apparently, it's also coming to, like, Nintendo Switch. Uh, so, yeah, this is very unexpected. So, this game is coming back. Uh, additionally, Disney. Disney is bringing back Gargoyles. Now, I'm sure most people listening to this video have no idea about Gargoyles. But back in, like... I would say, like, I don't know, the old days, uh, Disney had, like, this uh, cartoon series called Gargoyles, and it was, like, a pretty dark and awesome cartoon show back in the old days. Like, Disney just went crazy with it. Like, they, they would make stuff like Treasure Planet, Atlantis. They made this Gargoyles show. Modern-day Disney tries to make everything like so family friendly but this gargoyles show was pretty legit and it has like a huge fan base and there was a game that came out based on the show for the sega genesis uh that's the system that sonic first premiered on you know uh with like sonic the hedgehog and sonic the hedgehog 2 and all those games that got super popular so on this system they put out a gargoyles game and this past week Disney announced that they are bringing back this original Gargoyles game for, like, the Nintendo Switch and other systems. So, completely unexpected. You know, this is so random, like, such an old game getting ported from a series that a lot of people have kind of forgotten about. But, uh, I think it's super cool. Uh, I need to check if Gargoyles is on Disney+, Plus, because if it is, I might have to actually watch that. Disney seriously had some amazing older shows that they just don't do anything with nowadays it's kind of sad but um yeah that's that's kind of like all the big and important news this week i think we went through everything uh super important so oh wait we got one last piece we got one last piece of news here oh i, I can't believe i almost forgot about this so um the genshin impact voice actors apparently are like owed a ton of money and they're all like complaining about it so for those that don't know Genshin Impact is this like super popular game uh, it's free to play it's on PC uh, came out a while ago but it's still super super popular uh, a lot of streamers are playing
playing this on YouTube, on Twitch, on other platforms, and basically, the voice actors for characters in this game said that they went months doing voice acting for this game, and they were not paid at all. And, uh, yeah, this, this does not look good. Apparently, some voice actors are, like, owed thousands and thousands of dollars, and, yeah, that's, that is not cool. So, uh, there's people, like, right now doing, like, investigative work on this, and they're saying that, like, the company is not, uh, the company that makes Genshin Impact is not the one that's at fault. It's the company that recorded the voice lines of these voice actors that did not pay them, and they're a different company. But either way, that is messed up. Like, imagine doing the voices for, like, popular characters in a video game, and then not getting paid for it for months. So... That is just wrong, and hopefully that all gets resolved, because, like, yo, voice actors deserve, deserve the money for the characters they voice, that's for sure, so, not cool. And, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for video game news this week. Thank you all for listening, for watching, please be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you all next time. So long, and farewell.